Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a videographer from Republic Polytechnic, and today I'll be doing a review on the new 3D camera. The Panasonic 3D A1 is the world's first fully integrated full HD 3D camcorder that records to SD card media. Over here, we have the LCD screen which you can flip out and rotate around, and there's an alternative way to view it for live preview is the viewfinder. For recording quality wise, it can be recorded up to various presets like 60, i50, i30, p24, p, and 25p in 1080. This 3D camera is much smaller compared to other 3D cameras. It weighs about 2.4 kilograms and is easier to move around with. It is efficient to operate as it does not require any adjustment to the left or right lens alignment. Functions for automatic correcting horizontal and vertical displacement are provided. This is also the first 3D camera with stereoscopic lens, which is two lens in one camera. Over at the back, there is also a HDMI and HDSDR outputs. It offers the same popularity and mobility as a conventional 2D camera recorder for flexible image acquisition. What makes it so special about this camera is its stereoscopic lens. It effectively has dual 2 megapixels, 3 CMOS images. Therefore, it has 6 sensors in this camera. What is the most amazing thing is when you zoom, focus, set your white balance, exposure, and your gain, it all simultaneously happens across two cameras in one. Speaking of convergence, switching the selector switch to convergence mode will allow you to control the convergence point by using this dial. Whereas switching to iris mode will allow you to control the brightness by controlling the aperture using this dial too. The unique point about this camera is there's a mix button inside. When pressed, single left and single right eye image will be shown. And when pressed again, positive and negative parallax image can be shown, which is also known as ghosting, can be seen for live filming. Diagram A. When the parallax value of the image pair is positive, the left eye image of the object is seen on the screen at a position that lies to the left of its right eye image. When the viewer converges the image pair, the 3D object seems to be located behind the screen plate. Diagram B. When the parallax value is zero, the two images of the object overlap at the screen plate. In these circumstances, the object seems to the viewer to be located on the screen plane. And when the viewer's eyes are focused on the plane on the screen, and converge on an object that appears to be on or beyond the screen. For example, an object with zero or positive parallax, the viewer eyes remain uncrossed. Diagram C. When the parallax value of the pair of images of an object is negative, the left eye image of the object is seen on the screen at a position that lies to the right of its right eye image. When the viewer converges the image pair, the 3D object seems to be located in front of the screen plane. When the viewer's eyes are focused on the screen and converge on an object that appears to be in front of the screen, for example, an object with negative parallax, the viewer's left and right eyes cross. Hi, I'm Alex. Today I'll teach you how to convert your videos to AVI and combine the two videos together as one 3D video. Now, after transferring the video from the 3D A1 camera to desktop, you will have to ch change the format from MTS to AVI by using the software from Sniffon Core, Sniffon HD Link. From here, select Convert select the files that you want firstly I will select the left folder
left raw footages of the TS first format. Okay. Then I'll select the right footages of the DS format. Now we will start to convert them to AVI format. We are almost done there. Now we will have to create two individual folders for AVI format videos. Firstly, I'll create the left, the left pages of AVI. I'll name it after the form left. To another one. Also, I'll name after the form right. Okay, we are done with the left memory card of the APS format. We have done converting them to AVI. So now we we'll have to transfer the API format videos to the CD from left folder. So as for easy partition and configuring. Now we're done with the right memory card and memory card and TS folder to AVI. Now we we'll transfer them to the left, right CD form. After that, moving on, after we have the two EVI folder being converted, we will use another software called Sleeform First Light. This software is very useful as you can align the videos, the 3D videos, the parallax, the un positive, the positive and the negative parallax alignment. And it also can merge the two videos into one. For example, now we're going to show you how to do the merging of the two videos. First, we'll select 3D box. Now, in this selection, they will have a left eye file and a right eye file and a destination for the two videos being merged together. So, we'll select the left eye AVI folder. output 3d output 
you will create another folder name of the output gd now select this folder and save it right here And after that, we'll add the queue. Then we'll start the queue. Alright, after we're done with the final video of merging the two videos together, you'll see the preview of the video. Alright, here we go. Alright, from here, we will be able to view from different kind of 3D effects different kind of 3D type, display type from Anagraph, Red Cyan, Optimize, Amber Blue, Red and Magenta and the Line the Leaf and Skin difference over the side by side in free view it depends on what kind of display type you are looking for and you can select and play along Put on your 3D glasses now.